So now in a number of videos, I'm going to want one milliamp of current for one reason or another. And so we want a one milliamp current source for those circuits. As we saw with the J10, we can set how much current is flowing through the transistor. It's a junction field effect transistor, a JFET, an N channel a depletion mode. So in any case, we will have a current that is set through the component that regardless of voltage, as long as you have enough voltage to power everything, uh, by putting some resistance between the source and ground right there. The gate is connected directly to ground. So I found that uh, using a 2200 ohm resistor, which you may see as 2K2, because it's hard to see the decimal point, or a 2.2K, you might see as well, they don't always include the omega when you got that K for kilo. But in any case, I put that in series with 220 ohms, for a total of a 2,420 ohms. I just tried different value resistors until I closed in on one milliamp of current. There's variation even with uh, individual uh, J310s right there. And uh, so if you build this yourself, there's a good chance you're gonna have to change that resistance. Just be aware of that. And as you can see, I have the meter uh, set to measure milliamps of current. We will bridge that gap. The current has to go through there, and we are spot on one milliamp of current, according to this uh, multimeter. Now we're going to bump up the uh, power with the uh, power supply here by going to 15 volts. So we just tripled the voltage, and if we were just using resistance to limit current, we would have three times the current. But there you can see, we have the same current, it just went up a tiny bit, and uh, but it's uh, pretty much still spot on. You can expect a little uh, variation when you change the power needs of the transistor. So we'll just zoom in so you can see how I uh, wired this up. I just have this jumper there, because I used it in an earlier video, to the drain up there. The gate is actually the bottom pin. Source is the middle pin there, and uh, so we're going through two uh, resistances right there. Uh, 2200 I know that red is faded right there uh, but we got red red there and uh, black uh, where we had uh, brown up there but in any case uh, 2200 220 right there for a total of about 2420 ohms 